my friends, and welcome back to the Sanders Kitchen. I'm Pam, and today we're bringing back that lovely Melaton. They're back. We're going to be doing a lovely stuffed melaton side dish that's just going to be great for your Thanksgiving or your Christmas feast. And we'll be stuffing these with some beautiful Louisiana shrimp and some ham. So enjoy the video and don't forget, stay tuned because at the end we have a nice surprise for you. All right, we're going to start with our melatons. I have a nice pot of water boiling on the stove and we are using five melatons. Of course, you cut those in half, that's going to give you 10 halves. So these are going to be really good. And these do take 40 to 45 minutes to boil. So I'm going to get these in with their little buddies over there. And while the 45 minutes and we're waiting, we're going to go ahead and get our shrimp all ready for, for you. So we'll be back then. And now we're going to peel our shrimp. Down here in South Louisiana and a lot of places, they do have heads on them. Because up north, a lot of people go, oh, there's a head on my shrimp. Well, yes. So anyway, all you have to do is just peel the head off like that. Then we have this awesome handy dandy deveiner peeler, which is an awesome tool to have. So you just run it down the center of the back and you just keep pushing it and pushing it. And guess what? It takes the whole shell off. It's so easy. And you've got your shell all peeled and you're ready to go. So we're going to get ready to do the next one. And watch. Easy, easy, easy. How cool is that, right? And most of the time, it will actually get the vein out for you. So that's easy, it's all clean, and it's ready to go. Hey, one thing I forgot to tell you is, after you peel your shrimp, do not throw away the heads and the shells. You're gonna make your own shrimp stock. So what we had is we had three pounds of shrimp. We put them in a pot with about five cups of water and one cap of liquid crab oil, which is delicious. And you boil it for about 30 minutes and then you strain it and it makes the best seafood shrimp stock you've ever had. It's much better than what you buy at the store and it's going to make a big difference in your melatons. And see what it looks like. It's so good. Everything's just about ready to be put together. We have all our seasonings cut. We have our breadcrumbs. We have our shrimp, our shrimp stock that we already made. And we used a pound of ham and we like that finely minced up in our little food processor. So the only thing left that we have to do is work on our melatons. We have to scoop them out and I'm gonna show you how that's done. Okay, let me show you how easy this is to get the flesh out. It's very soft. You can use a spoon or a melon baller. I prefer a spoon because you can get a little bit more. And you just have to go really soft around the edges. Try to be very careful not to go through to the shell because you're going to be stuffing these. And it does happen sometimes, but as long as you don't do a big, big hole, once you put your stuff in, it kind of holds it together. So I'm going to do this one. And I'll do another one. And then when we finish with that, as you can see, there's a lot of juice in the bottom of there. So we're going to mash them up and then we'll drain them and then we'll be ready to put the casserole together. Okay, we're getting ready to put our stuffing together. I have my pot hot and I have my butter melting. And what we're going to do is put in our onions, celery, bell peppers, parsley, and garlic. Put it all in there at one time. And this is going to have to saute probably 10 to 12 minutes just to get it all nice and soft. And when that's done, we'll be back for the next step. Our seasonings are all softened up, so now we're going to add our melatons to the pot. We'll stir those in. I'm going to go ahead and add in my nice diced up ham. 
and I'm going to add in two tablespoons of Frank Davis barbecue shrimp seasoning. Now, if you can't get this, you can use Old Bay or whatever type of seafood seasoning that you prefer. There's tons of them out there. All right, I'm going to stir this in a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and add about a cup of my shrimp stock. You can always add more later. Reserve just a little bit of that. I'm going to stir all that in. And let this cook down for a little bit. Mm, it's smelling awesome. Okay, that's all blended real good. Now we're going to go ahead and add our shrimp. Stir those in, and you're going to you're going to want to cook this till your shrimp are no longer translucent and they start to turn right white. And they're going to cook more once they're in the oven, but we just want to cook these down a little bit until um, they turn white. And then we'll be back in a little bit. All right, we're back. Everything's all nice and cooked and the shrimp are done. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and turn my fire off. And now what we need to do is there's a lot of juice in here from the melatons and all the goodness. So what we need to do is add breadcrumbs and that's going to turn it into a stuffing. So I'm going to start with a cup of Italian breadcrumbs. I'm going to blend that in. And then we're just going to eyeball it to see if it needs to have some more. There was a lot of juice that came out of those melatons. And you got to have it thick enough so that it'll be stuffed into the shells. Yeah, it's definitely going to need some more. I'm going to add another half cup. And we'll see how that comes out. It sure smells great. Now some people don't want to go to the trouble of actually stuffing the melatons, so what you could do is when you get this to the right consistency, is just put it in a casserole dish, sprinkle some breadcrumbs on the top, bake it in the oven, and you've got a nice delicious melaton casserole. I think it needs a little bit more. Another quarter cup. I'm going to stir that in, and then we're going to come back and I'm going to show you how to stuff our little melaton halves, and we'll be back. We let our stuffing cool just a little bit, and I'm going to show you how to stuff these. It's really, really easy. And you want to put a nice big helping in there because you want them to be nice and full. That's nice. Okay, let's do one more. And then what we're going to do is sprinkle some breadcrumbs on the top, and then they'll be ready right to go into the oven. We place these in a preheated 350 degree oven for 30 minutes or until the breadcrumbs on top start to brown a little bit. Just going to sprinkle it on top. Okay, they're ready to go into the oven. Well, I'm going to give it a try. Mm. That is so good. Mm. The flavors in there are outstanding. With the ham and the shrimp and a little bit of crab oil. The flavors are so good with all the seasonings. This is your typical New Orleans stuffed melaton. It's so good. I hope you try this recipe and you're going to enjoy it. But before we go, we're going to take a little break. We'll be right back. We have a surprise for you. Well, Pam and I want to thank you all for subscribing to the Sanders Kitchen. We have a blast making these videos. And 
We just love being able to share what we know, our recipes from our family and our experiences from many years in the kitchen uh, with you. And so we have a special treat. And that is, if you don't have a shrimp devainer, well, we want to give you one. So what we're going to do is ask you to email us at Sanders Kitchen LA at gmail.com. That's S A N D E R S Kitchen L A at gmail.com. And what we're going to do is wait a few days for everybody to send us an email, and then probably by maybe Thursday. We're actually going to make a video of us pulling the names out of a bowl because we're going to put your name on a little slip of paper. We're going to pull it out on live on video and we're going to give away uh, a brand new shrimp demainer, not this one, although it looks brand new, but they do come wrapped in a piece of plastic. <laughs> but anyway, so we want to do that. I think it'll be fun. Thank you again for tuning in to our channel. Please give us a thumbs up. That's a like and subscribe and ring the notification bell so you will know about the videos that we make and we plan on making them every week. So I, and I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I hope you can make it and enjoy it with your family and maybe do it for the holidays. We'll see you. We'll see you soon and God bless. <music>